Yes, so often people feel when they are struggling to conceive a child, they feel just really uh, upset and distressed and um, they, they look at everyone around them that's trying for a baby and having babies easily and quickly and they just feel, why, why am I not able to have a baby? Why aren't we conceiving a child like everybody we know? And especially for people who work in areas like teachers and nurses where everyone, they're all females in their, in their workplace and they're all going off on maternity leave all the time. And maybe their friends and their family members and neighbours, everyone around them is having babies except for them. And they just start to wonder, why is this happening to me? Why me? Why us? What have, what have we done to deserve this treatment? And they feel singled out. And some people feel kind of punished, as if they're being punished by God or fate or you know, the powers that be, that somehow they've done something wrong, and yet they know they've never done anything wrong to deserve this. Although sometimes there are women who maybe have had a termination at some point in their past, and they can feel really like they're being punished for what they did, and that's very tragic, and, and I have to, you know, I talk that through with them to try and explain that there's nothing that they have done to deserve what's going on. And and nobody does. Nobody has done anything. Um, and everybody just has to kind of try to understand that there's no real reason. Maybe there is a medical reason that they found to as to why they are struggling. But there's no reason why it's them. They've not been singled out by the powers that be. Um, and, you know, some people think, this is just so unfair. It's so unfair. And then they feel a bit childish because when when we're little, we're told, well, life isn't fair. You know, what makes you think life is fair? And yet they feel so frustrated and they feel so thwarted in their, their simple desire for family that they feel like, um, you know, you can feel, why me? And this is so unfair. And it is really unfair, and there's no real reason for it. And what's interesting about that, that, that sentence, that question, is that when things are going well for us, we don't actually ask, why me? When we're having great good fortune, no one says, gosh, why me? Why was I chosen to have this wonderful life and these wonderful things happening to me? So to me, when you hear people say, or when people find themselves thinking, why me, why is this happening to us? It's usually a, a sign that they are very, very unhappy. It's evidence of how desperate they're feeling uh, at, the, at the seeming injustice of their, all their family and friends and people they know getting pregnant, and, and then you're not getting pregnant. And... Uh, it's just evidence of the pain and suffering of what it means to be in the situation that you're in.